Spike TV's Deadliest Warrior, which pits fighters throughout history against one another, has become a hit show by using 21st century science to determine who would win in a field of battle. There's always debates going on. Who is the greatest baseball player? Who is the best rock guitar player? Who is the greatest artist? And those same debates, I think, have always taken place in regards to who are the greatest fighters or the warriors of all time. I thought the best way to evaluate what warriors are truly the greatest in history is to use science and technology to evaluate their weapons in a way that no one can debate. Give me a stab, another slash, another stab. Beautiful. Let's come up with a show in which all the weapons that we choose we test and we use the best modern equipment available to test that, such as what you make at National Instruments. We find experts in those warrior classes, bring them into the test jojo here. We set up scientific tests, collect as much data as we can on each weapon, run that data in the simulator a thousand times to determine who would actually win. It's really important for us that everything work and everything happen very quickly on a set. As you can see, I have lots of people here, so we, we like to do things as efficiently as possible with the, the least amount of waiting as possible. So it's very important for us to have very dependable equipment that we know works, that's modular, that we can piece together. The other thing is that this is a very unique show where we're testing all kinds of weapons, so it's great to have the kind of flexibility that we get from NI where we can adapt to our particular needs. With a traditional data acquisition system, it's usually dedicated for one setup. With the compact DAC system, I have in a space about that big, multiple dedicated systems. Using LabVIEW and the compact DAC system in combination, I was able to transfer very quick, quickly from uh, pressure reading to accelerometer reading to a load cell reading, and it would all get loaded into LabVIEW one or several TDMS files, and that was very easy to work with. It's, uh, I don't know what to say, it's, it's awesome, and I use it all the time. I wouldn't, I wouldn't use a computer if it didn't have it on. With Compact DAC and LabVIEW, it's all in one place. All I have to move is my Compact DAC setup with my laptop, and I'm good to go. The show relies on the use of graphical information to make the data collected visually compelling to a TV audience. That's another reason why I love using National Instruments. It's very, very visual. I love DDAM because I can use my accelerometer data, I can use, um, visualize our load cell data, and explain something in engineering terms for the lay person, and they understand it, they get it like that. Resultant acceleration in meters per second squared, and the green is uh, meters per second. We love to be able to show our audience in a very visual way the kind of data that our instruments are getting. So it's terrific when we have on-screen graphics, the type NI makes, where you can actually not be told what is happening, you can see what is happening. As we go forward in the future, we're going to come up with more and more cool tests, with more and more unusual weapons, and I'm sure that national instruments and the types of tools that they make will be very important in that. So I really rely heavily on LabVIEW and Diadem and Compact DAC to do their job, and they do their job.